President Trump's hope of having a property with his name on it in Russia have long been in the making. The Washington Post pointed out today that Trump first visited Russia back in 1987, where he investigated sites back then for a possible luxury hotel. Post reports Trump's most recent attempt for a Moscow property, quote, capped a 30-year-long effort by the celebrity mogul to do business in Russia. Again and again, Trump pursued his Russia project, traveling to Moscow and unveiling four ultimately unsuccessful plans to put his name on a building in the Russian capital before he announced he would run for president. Russia is one of the hottest places in the world for investment, Trump said in a 2007 deposition. We will be in Moscow at some point. Well, here to talk about it is David Farenthold, Pulitzer Prize winning Washington Post reporter, who, as luck would have it, covers the president's businesses and conflicts of interest. And so, David, in that vein, here is a federal court filing in your lane. And having said <laughs> that, what stuck out to you? Well, a couple of things. One, the, the dealings that Michael Cohen had, uh, we've talked about this as a development President Trump wanted in, in Moscow. Uh, you know, he was trying to build a tower, but they were dealing with the Russian government. And, you know, obviously in Russia, oligarchs, developers, the government are all kind of mixed together. But Michael Cohen reached out to Dmitry Peskov's assistant, to someone in the Russian, the high levels of the Kremlin. So it wasn't just that they were talking to investors or possible partners in Russia about this plan. They were talking to Vladimir Putin's closest aides. They, in fact, as BuzzFeed first reported, we're thinking of offering Putin himself a $50 million penthouse at the top of the building. So I was struck by that connection to the Russian government particularly. Uh, but also that we're now seeing what we'd always suspected was happening, which was that Robert Mueller and his investigation, you know, Robert Costa, my colleague just a minute ago, talked about how Trump mixed mm -hmm. either. Uh, he's, he is looking at, across the, the in not only at Trump's politics, but also at Trump's business, because Trump mixed those together. Let me ask on behalf of viewers who've been with us for the whole hour and may be wondering, what is it about Russia? We had Russians at the GOP convention in Cleveland, for God's sakes. You just don't see that every day. What is this obsession with planting the flag in Russia? What it looks like to me um, was that Trump relied on Russian money, Russian investors, Russian partners at a number of his other uh, sort of uh, license deals, other pro projects in other cities outside Russia, in Toronto, Panama, Soho, and New York City. Uh, there, were, there was Russian money, Russian buyers involved in those places. And, you know, I, I think he saw this as like, well, let's go to the source. Why, why, you know, deal with Russian buyers in New York or in, or in Florida when I can just go to Russia? There's probably a lot more Russian money there. I, I think that's part of the attraction. Um, we have a couple seconds left. I have to ask you, Deutsche Bank was a lender that did business with Donald Trump at a time when few were willing to. Separately, Deutsche Bank headquarters in Germany raided today. Is anyone drawing a parallel? Uh, Deutsche Bank has had a lot of trouble with money laundering accusations that go, uh, you know, that have nothing to do, as far as we know, with Donald Trump. I don't see any reason to believe this is connected to Trump. If they raid the office on Park Avenue where uh, Trump's personal banker from Deutsche Bank gave, it, gave out his loans, then I would start to think there's a connection. So far, I haven't seen one. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.